we're going. Welcome everybody to the Alrighty Please Pod. The Alrighty Please Stop, Stop Podcast. Please, I was trying to say, say so pause. Th- I put pause with your host Justin Lopez and David Rodriguez. Um, hey, hey, oh. Again, Raul and uh, David aren't here. Uh, Raul's uh, being attacked by turkeys. And David, he's out being trampled to death on yeah. Black Friday. Yeah, so we, we hope David the best. I hope he's not being trampled to death. But uh, yeah, this is a good week. This is a Thanksgiving week. How was your Thanksgiving, David? I got lit and turned. <laughs> it's crazy. I was what about you? Did uh, you do anything? For me, it was more like it was my niece and nephew's birthdays on Thanksgiving. On? Uh, on Thanksgiving. They went to your place or what? No, they, yeah, we went to their place. We oh. ate turkey. We had to celebrate their birthday. It was, it was really nice. They're like a three-year-old, one-year-old. So it's nice. It's nice to see them age up. Is that the word you should be using? Age up. I think you mean grow up, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, with our first topic today, the biggest topic for this whole motherfucking week. Oh, I just found some news. Civil I... War drops. Oh yeah. Civil War drop for the, Captain America. The trailer drop. The tra- Not the movie. Not the, the movie. Trailer. The trailer. The teaser trailer. There's eventually going to be more trailers to that uh, fantastic movie. And uh, in all honesty, I can't wait for this movie because it just has so much potential. Oh, wow. Is the mic faced the other way the whole time? No, no, no. The mic just moved by itself. Oh, all right. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for this movie. Like, you just don't know the hype is real. Like, this is the movie that's going to divide the Avengers between different good. philosophies. There's no good and bad in this. But it's more like different philosophies. You get me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what did uh? So obviously since that came out, we all, we both watched the trailer. He watched it right now. I watched it like the day it came out, which was on Wednesday. Yeah. Before it started. Oh fuck! I'll make it. Oh, just barely made it. But yeah. Um, he. I heard my cousin talking about it uh, yesterday because I had family over and friends and. It was a nice party. We we mixed in drinks. We did the turkey, and then later, I don't know how we ate the whole turkey. <laughs> so later in the night, we bought like pizza? five pizzas or six. You still pizza downstairs, or what? Is it just all empty? Nah, it's super empty. <laughs> Everything's gone. We were all hungry. You guys got the munchies. Yeah, dude. We got. <laughs> and then, um, oh, dude, you should watch this anime. I the first time I ever heard of it. It's called One Punch Man. We saw like two episodes. I'm gonna want. I want to see the whole series. <laughs> it looks <laughs> fucking hilarious. Oh my god! Like basically, this guy he just punches once and they yeah. die. It's super dead. No, no recovery. You mean dead, not super dead. No, he's super, super dead. dead. Not this is advanced dead. <laughs> you go. There's hell. Like when you die, there's death, and then there's super death. <laughs> so yeah, and uh. Yeah, I had a good time. We, my mom, had our neighbors over. Our uh, they drink together. They're like friends, drinking buddies. I guess. Yeah. They were in the garage. I have a garage. Play a pool there. Listen to their Mexican music because they're super Mexican. Let's go. Cool. We play Smash with family. Watch the videos. Went out to Black Friday. You did? Yeah. We went to Target. And uh, there's a lot of people. Like the whole oh, was, was, the, was the whole store like already like completely half empty? No. Like no, uh there are more cars in the parking lot than I've ever seen. You know how there has like this the separated thingy? Yeah. Well that second half was parked so like there are a lot more people there than there have ever been. I can only think of a, of a Walmart, like how bad a Walmart I cause like yeah. it's like for Black Friday, we're off topic from Civil War, but we'll get back to Civil War. Yeah, but, but yeah, Black but, Friday's news too. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying. It's like right now. Yeah, 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 I get you. But I mean, like, diverting from Civil War. Like, yeah, Black Friday is like, you, you, like, I always think about it. Like, whenever I go to a Walmart or a Target and you see all that extra parking space, and like, the, a quarter of that parking space is like the average is used yeah. averagely throughout the whole year for each store. But on Black Friday, like it's the whole store. Yeah, it, the all the parking. You like parking lots are big. Yeah. Like, come on, that's the thing. But 
on Black Friday, the whole thing is used, and that's crazy because I've never seen that before. Yeah, like only on Black Friday. Yeah, like that's crazy. It's that one special time of the year. It's like yeah. Walmart. Like Walmart's like half of its parking lot is full, and that's like, like you eventually. That, that's get, still half. Like yeah. there's a lot left over. And like you kind of still look at it like, oh, that's not a lot, but it still is. But when it's Black Friday and you see that the whole parking lot is filled up and there's even more cars coming in, yeah, it's like. And like Ridiculous. lining up for them deals. Yeah, like imagine like. But mostly since here we live right on the border, it's mostly uh, Mexicans because they come, they buy like twenty Xboxes, and then they go back, and then they go back and resell them at the normal price, so they make profits out of it. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, Mexicans. In. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna say that, but more like like entrepreneurs. Nah, Under- the well, Mexicans. No, Mexican entrepreneurs like they come over here and they buy, they buy our all stuff. The, they buy the shit that we we want to buy. We're they the ticker Xbox. The ticker Xboxes. They go back to Mexico and, and then, then they sell it to other people at regular price. So like, they're making money off of it. Like, sure they wasted like whatever, a like thousand. A, a thousand a dollars, a couple thousand, a couple thousand, but they'll make it back maybe twice as much yeah. from what they get. Maybe. But like it is crazy to think oh, about that. We never had this before. There's an enemy guy. That's my guy. The bees. I use him, but he there he is. It's kind of hard to fight against. <laughs> but like, yeah, man, it's crazy. Yeah, like, Black Friday. Have you ever been to Black Friday on like out of town? Like we live in a small town. Like no, nah, dude, we like, live in we, a pretty big. Town. No, we don't live in a big town. There's bigger towns than what we have. We don't. Well, yeah, I'm not, say, I'm not like saying. Pretty big, I'm not saying so. we live like in a small little village. That's not what I mean. But we live in like an average sized town. That's a better word to use. An yeah. average sized town. If you've been to like Austin or Dallas, I've been to Dallas on Black Friday, dude. So Why would you do that? Because we have. Oh, family you went out of town. Yeah, my family over there. That's nice. And uh, seeing like it's fucking crazy dude like it is absolutely madness to see not only like the whole freeway jammed up to get all those fucking deals yeah but then going to like a walmart or whatever and like they're twice piles of bodies yeah they're they're piled they're they're more like big like those over there uh, are bigger than ours what is it um fucking sardines yeah we're packing together in a and, and where you have to buy it. What's it? The registers? Yeah. That's crazy. It's more crazy because, like, like, no words can describe how ridiculous is it. it really is. And especially, like... I like I like the thing that South Park did, their Black Friday trilogy, where Cartman oh, is betraying w- everyone. Yeah. That's, that's, like, a pretty good portrait. Por- yeah. Well, it was more portrayal. like... Portrayal. Yeah, of like, how Black Friday goes on. Because they show you like all the people who are like, savages. No, like at the end they go in, they go in the and everyone's dead. Best Buy, and there's like bodies. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, no, they were in the mall. Yeah, and like they, like the main like it was two different storylines. One was Cartman and like the Game of Thrones thing, and then the other. Well, I think the most thing was Game of Thrones, but like. Yeah, the second half. Yeah, it was all. Oh uh, no, there's two stories. Yeah, one was Carmen, the other one was Randy. his dad. Yeah, and because he got a job at the mall mm-hmm. on Black Friday, <laughs> it was really funny. I liked it because, like, well, of course, it's an ex- uh, exaggeration because you know they're not gonna be like how the episode was like people were literally ex- killing each other for it, but I mean like it does show you like how how vicious people can yeah. get to get it, those. Is things. that? It's more of an American thing, right? The Black Friday. Does it happen in anywhere else? I think it. I don't know. I'm not sure. I. I'm not. I'm not really sure. Like I can only imagine Japan, where there's like it's really overcrowded. Yeah, cause what it is basically is uh, it's it's a Christmas. Ho- it's its own holiday. Like it starts off the Christmas season by oh look, get your deals. This will kickstart the season of buying gifts. So at yeah. really cheap prices. And it's at the beginning of December. Well, not really, but come on, it's the one day. It's basically the beginning of December. I remember, and that's what kickstarts people buying gifts for yeah. everyone. And you can buy real cheap, so people basically buy. Oh, I sniped them. They basically buy it there, and then they they hide it and they gift wrap that, and the deals they got is is what is on yeah. the tree in a month. You just have to keep it, you know, like hidden for a while. Yeah. 
But yeah, basically that's that's what it is. I think Black Friday is like. I think after a while we kind of stopped going because like not only did the stores get more crowded because the more people are there, but people are more vicious. Because I I went to one and we were going we went there just for a fucking camera, and do it there were people fucking fighting over the cameras. My mom like had a fucking trick up a trick a lady because she was bu buying a camera. And then she somehow tricked, like, tricked the lady. I don't know how, because I wasn't really paying attention. And she somehow grabbed the camera. She had the camera now. And then the other lady's like, oh, what the camera? And then we just went, paid for it, and it was like, we're getting the fuck out of here. Like, it was just, like, a fucking crazy experience to think, like, a person was fucking pissed off just for taking a camera. I don't know. I don't think I've ever bought anything. Other than today, where I bought my own thing. And it wasn't even electronics, like... I didn't. I didn't have that much. I bought a book. Like it was thirty percent off. I'm like, oh, I'm a great deal. Yeah. Book. Uh, but with that, I bought uh, some chips, a Gatorade, and a pretzel. Cause I went to Target. I'm like, yeah, I want to share a pretzel. <laughs> and all together, I spent like just twenty dollars. It's pretty good. I deals. think it's a pretty funny thing. Like a pretty funny story to tell people. Yeah. If you go, hey, what'd you do on Black Friday? Oh, I bought an Xbox One. Oh, I bought three flat screens. What did you buy? Oh, a I bought pretzel. a pretzel. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. Like, you'll be, like, that cool guy in the group. Like, this motherfucker knows how to save money. <laughs> like, it was a solid gold pretzel. Yeah, dude. But, yeah, it was a pretty good pretzel. Uh, there's four kinds. I got the cheddar one. So, like, oh, cheese. I like cheese. <laughs> I'll, I'll try out this cheese cheddar pretzel. Cheesy goodness. It was pretty good pretzel. And then with that, uh... Oh, yeah, I also bought some chicken fingers. And all together, $20 for good... Pretty good deal. Nice, nice. Okay, now back to Civil War. Oh yeah, the trailer drop. Yeah, trailer drop. That's what we're talking about. Uh, what were your thoughts about it? Even for like the the minute you saw it, what did you get? What did you think of it? It looked pretty good. I liked it. I was interested in it. Like, oh man, who's gonna fight this guy? And I saw Iron Man in there. You see the Falcon. You see the Black Widow. And then the Patriots in there, or no, the War Machine. Yeah. What's it? Uh, Colonel Brody Brolds or something. Yeah. Brody. He's in there. Um, Bucky, he's like I guess the main plot point where Captain America is trying to save him, and yeah. Iron Man is trying to stop him. Like, no, he's a bad guy. He killed every American ever. And Calm down. He's not like he's not genocidal. <laughs> like, I'm but he kill. did. It was he, he, it he was did. all in World War Two. Oh uh, yeah. Not all oh, bad. He's dude. a He was a bad dude. Yeah, but you were to malls and just like ah, like killing everyone there. Oh man, dude, I know it's a game, but uh, do you remember playing Modern Warfare two or three? Yeah, the I think one it was where two. they you should it's, kill everyone. It's uh, no Russian. Yeah. Do you think that would ever happen? And like, uh, something like that, like an airport shooting, and then like highly unlikely that it will start a World War three because there's an American in there, but. Do you think that would ever happen too? Like, if there's a mass shooting at an airport, and then for it to let it be discovered that there's they killed one guy and it was an American. Like, I guess there's two. Like, questions. Are you saying like the person who's killing everyone and then he dies and then they find out oh this guy's American? No, like how it is in the game. Like you're with the main terrorist group because you're undercover yeah. trying to sting them. But then they turn on you, and only your body is a That's why I mean, like, you're the only one left out of yeah. the group. And then they're like, oh, this guy's American. Yes, and, and then they go to war with us. I like, think... Or, not only that, but do you think there will ever be, like... The, I know I know the ISIS thing happened. Yeah. Do you ever think ISIS will be crazy enough to... I wouldn't doubt it, dude. Like, just by what they did in Paris, they have... they Like, they're showing they have the balls to do what they're doing. And obviously, like, everyone could say they're they're... They're cowardly and whatever, but like you have to give it to them. They're they they're know. pretty. They're pretty like well organized and smart. Yeah, too. like they use social media, especially like they recruit people through social media. Like if it's like, I guess an example could be like if you're a type of person who's like he feels like you you can't connect with anyone. You're all left like a loner. You get yeah. me? Yeah, you'd be like a prime suspect to join ISIS. Yeah, like you'd just be like the prime person to be like, ISIS will do something and be like, hey, I kind of like that. Or I can agree with that, and then you'll do it. But like, yeah, I could picture ISIS. Like, I'm not saying I wanted it to happen, but I could picture it. Like ISIS doing something as horrible as that. Like at an airport. Yeah. Uh, to what you said about the, the like with the war or whatever. Like, 
Yeah, that's another thing. Uh, ice is coming out. That's a thing. Yeah. And like now, it's just a daily thing. We gotta live with it. Uh, do you think we'll ever have to do another world war just to deal with ISIS? I don't like like not like not a whole nation's thing, but like just America just, versus just, ISIS. But since it's around the world, it would be considered a world war or something like that. Uh, world war, war or maybe a battle. It's because like a world war would have to be like if. It's a nation, like a nation with an army of people ready to attack another army of people from another part of the world. I think that's what kind of makes it a world war. Right. But like in this case, yeah, I could picture a war. Like we went against Al Qaeda when they bombed, yeah. you know, like when they did not eleven to us. So that was that was considered a war, right? Yeah, I was considered an act of war. Yeah. Like I could honestly picture like we just go into ISIS and just be like, you motherfuckers. All right, we're, let's go to war. Yeah, like we'll just go, like. Cause we're like, we you wanna are, go? We go. You wanna go, ISIS? <laughs> we have like some guy in a, like a muscle shirt and like Guido hair. Like, you wanna go, bro? You you wanna go? And talks like Al Pacino for some reason. How uh, how going back to South Park? How he's doing it with the um, fuck, what is it? The New York play episode. He's like, let's go, bro. Let's go, go, bro. You wanna <laughs> go in a, in a circle? Oh man. Yeah, but personally, I don't. I don't really think ISIS. Like, we will go to war, and you know, because we're friends with France, and you know, we don't. Oh, wanna, I got new. We don't want to be like that type of friend that goes like, "Oh, you got hit," <laughs> and then you're just there like patting him on the back. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. You'll get over it. You want to like be your. You want to be that type of friend that's like, "Hey, my friend got hit, so I'm gonna fuck you up." Let's get them back. Let's get them back. And they, Wait, you know, that that also reminds me. Does Paris have any type of military on them? Yeah, they do. Oh, they do. Yeah, they have the no, G I G N G I G G G G G. It's like Europe's special forces. They deal with terrorists and stuff. It goes. Back, I was about to say. It reminds me of Rainbow Six Siege, which is a horrible game. Why well, you don't like it? I played. I have the beta, dude. It blows. Oh, well, it looks real good. It builds balls. Like, I play, it blows I like, balls. It blows balls. It looks, okay, I'm gonna say it right now. I, I think you're wrong, man. I like. I'm gonna I've, I've to seen, my. I've seen a lot of gameplay. Personal, it looks like a real personal game. opinion, and like my experiences with the game, it sucks because first of all, the beta was closed. It was open because it was supposed to open on Wednesday. It didn't open up to like, on Thanksgiving, or, yeah, I think it was. Thanksgiving Wait, the beta day. didn't the game already come no, out? No, the, the game doesn't come out till next week. Oh, I the So yeah, the beta came out comes out this week and it was closed for a day and I know most of people people are like saying but it's just a day but I mean like it's a pretty big deal because the servers were crashing you couldn't join the game if you did join the game you'd say sorry servers aren't available and then you know even Ubisoft was like oh we didn't expect this to happen and I don't know what and I, in my mind I'm kind of like you guys didn't do like a trial test you get me like you guys didn't test out the servers to see if they were okay and then like eventually tell people Mm. That, that's just like how I am but then also but once it did get fixed like I'll put that aside and I was playing it after like I was finally able to play the, the freaking game it, it's okay I'm not lying it's it's a good game it's a good game it's it, it's pretty okay it's pretty okay but it's just like it's those tiny things like that where like shit doesn't work or you can't join something or whatever that really pisses me off and Ubisoft really has to work on that because like I played Assassin's Creed Unity and like personally I was fine with it. I didn't have an, like a lot of glitches or bugs. Unity. Yeah. Isn't that the one where there's like not not a game breaking glitch, but the character's face just yeah. melts off. <laughs> that like it's super weird cuz I saw reports and pictures of people like with those problems and I was like, dude, this has never happened to me. And maybe I was one of the few lucky ones that never had to deal with it. Who got like a, a good working copy. Got yeah, I got a good working copy because like when I played it the only glitch I've ever experienced was either because I got stuck between like two pieces of planks and that was just because I was trying to jump over it and I somehow just got like stuck in there uh -huh. or I uh -huh. jump off into like those little you know how in Sasuke's Creed you can jump off into like a little pile of hair pile of hair, hair. uh hay hair and like land safely hair, hair. <laughs> Well, funny. I did. I that. just imagine a bucket of <laughs> fucking bunnies. <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah, 
I landed on the hay, and then like instead of landing, like stopping there, I kept going through the map. Oh, like I kept flying through the air, and he was still like just moving around. I was like trying to log out, <laughs> and nothing happened. He was still there, like, and then finally I hit the bottom of the world, and like I was looking up, and I could run around. And oh, it was I super weird. Like you can still jump over things. I was like, what the fuck's going on? But what? But besides that, besides those two things, I basically had the most fun I could have with Unity. But like, well, what's Unity about? Is that like a, well, what? What's that? Is that the French one? Yeah, or? it's the French one. It's like it's like uh, assassin. Like you're an assassin, take uh, who's fighting for who's fighting during the uh, um the French Revolution. Mm. You know, Napoleon. Uh, I was about to say dynamite. Uh, <laughs> Napoleon Bonaparte and uh, the latest one is uh, Victorian London, right? Yeah, that one. with the trains and the Industrial Revolution. Yeah, mm. that one looks good. Like I think I that's, saw a game. That's a uh, syndicate. Yeah, it, yeah, I think it, yeah, it's syndicate. That one's actually really good just because, like, Ubisoft redeemed themselves. They were like, oh. it's not the perfect Assassin's Creed, but, like, it's not going to bring anything new to the table, but, like... They did. Oh, with the little zip launcher thing. Yeah, but, I mean, like... Also, the thing of two new protagonists. You oh, could true. be a boy and a girl. I won't lie, that one was actually really good. Everyone loved the, the two Assassins. But, I mean, like, otherwise, it's a really good game. But I wouldn't say is gonna define or make a new type of experience for Assassin's Creed. It was just like, it's a good game. You get me? That's all I think. Damn, dude. This looks like a good painting. I'm on Imager. 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 Whatever the fuck you call it. Okay, next to This are... guy's painting, like, abstract thing. Yeah. It's really good looking. That's pretty cool. It's like haunting. I love it. So much. Going to our next set of news, which you probably will like, Monster News. <gasps> Love monster Two news. monster news. We got Angelina Jolie and Tom Cruise, who are gonna star, who are possibly rumored, and they want them to star in these two monster flicks. Mm. Angelina Jolie, they want Angelina to star in The Bride of Frankenstein. What do you mean monster? Monster movies. Oh. Monster movies. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so they want her to play The Bride of Frankenstein. Nice. And they want Tom Cruise to play The Mummy. Is it another mummy movie? No, not, the, not, the, no, no, not that one. Not that one. <laughs> no, I was gonna say that means badass. I, lo I love those mummy movies. Not that one. I grew up with those. Uh, the the other one, you know, the mummy's like. Yeah, that's the mummy with Brendan Fraser. No, he fights those types no, of mummies. No, 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 no. Is this a movie? It's not that mummy. It's a different mummy. All right. Wait, it's just the mummy, okay? So they they want <laughs> Tom Cruise and Angelina Jolie with Angelina Jolie with the new film By the Sea. Which is her and her husband when they start in it. It's it's looking good just because it's two really high list celebrities. But besides that, everyone else is like most critics are saying it's not gonna do good. There's nothing really going for it besides this Angelina and Brad Pritt. Brad Pritt. Bad bad prick. Prick. Pratt Pritt. Chris Pratt. <laughs> Chris Pratt. <laughs> Brad Pitt. I can't talk to get you. Okay, I can't talk to this. Me. <laughs> but yeah, and they want her to either star in The Bride of Frankenstein, which is uh, obviously a monster movie, or Wanted 2. I don't know if you remember Wanted, the one with the oh, yeah. like, defying bullets, uh, the bullets that curve. Yeah, you curve into uh, Morgan Freeman's face. <laughs> yeah, that one. Spoiler. <laughs> Spoiler. Uh, and people really want her to do that. Also... With a lot of movies coming out, I think it's uh, legendary pictures that are making out a lot of monster movies. Like, for instance, they have Dracula, Wolfman, Van Helsing. Have you seen the new Dracula Untold? Nah. You should watch it. I recommend it. I give it an 8 out of 10 because I think they could have done better casting. But other than that, it's really good. It has a good story. It's about the Dracula. famous Dracula. Uh, How he becomes Dracula, right? Yeah, the Vlad the Impaler. <laughs> he's like a warlord and they call him Dracula because he put people on stakes and it's fucking brutal like he gets these super long spears and he puts the bodies on top of them and it's fucking they, they do that in the movie and it was super tasteful like the his tasteful? army is no that no listen you yes cause, listen I'm gonna explain okay, okay. how the army his army is invading and he fights with his soldiers like a good king or whatever right. he is he he fights with them 
and at the end oh fuck no it's like and the, okay he becomes Dracula whatever yeah he's protecting his castle and all his people and his enemy's army comes and he he um from the back he basically has like a week of power of Dracula and he dies or it goes away or I don't know what happens it's been a while since I've seen it so that happens and this invading army comes and he fights them at the night and he can control bats right or whatever he kills them all and in the morning comes the enemy emperor he's going to his army to be like oh my new castle they should have won by now so he goes and they like over the hill and it's like a dramatic music like uh the <laughs> no no like the famous inception <laughs> <laughs> like one of those but more yeah. more eerie and you see like and like stuff's on fire you see the wavy heat lines and then you see every soldier like on the thing on stage impaled like 20 feet in the air like that's crazy and that's what i mean by tasteful like i i wondered oh i wonder if they're gonna do that famous picture because it's a picture oh, of okay. him like with like five bodies on top and like the blood dripping down but they did it with an entire army and they did it so dramatically and that's what I mean by it was tasteful, oh, okay. Okay. tasteful, uh, poor portrayal of yeah. what happened in real life. Oh, okay, I get you. But also, it's a good movie. It has the action. There's kind of bad acting. That's why I say uh, better casting. But the main guy, Dracula, he's he's like a famous American person, I think. I don't remember the actor name, but he's like one of those familiar faces. Like, oh, I've seen that guy in another movie. Yeah. That's Dracula. His wife, not really important. The kid's not that important. He just wants to protect his family. And he goes, oh, I get it. He's from the new Hobbit movie. The guy who asks, oh, okay, yeah, will yeah, yeah. you have peace or war? I think it's that guy. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm not. I think it's him. He's Dracula. So uh, that's it. He's just protecting his family. It's a good movie. You should watch it. But, like, I don't know. How do you feel about Angelina Jolie being the Bride of Frankenstein and then Tom Cruise being the mummy? Because I think... I don't know how you You mean, would like, that. Tom Cruise... As the mummy. Like, like dressing up in the mummy no, wrappings? No, or? no. It's well, like, what is the mummy? Anyways. It's just, like, a mo- like, it's just what it is, the mummy. It's just, like, an, uh, like they dig up a ancient tomb and it's just the mummy itself. It's not like the mummy with Br- uh, Ben Fraser where it's just, like... A, a, a giant y- wave like a young guy who's yeah. been reborn like not that type nah, of not that type of an moment. actual an old ass mummy right. but he kills people obviously that'd be pretty cool but for Tom Cruise Tom I don't Cruise. know how yeah that's what I mean Like that's how... kind of weird like wouldn't you get he... if you want a horror icon I don't know if he's still alive or still good to do it uh, the guy that played Jason that guy was huge and all he did was they dressed him up and they hit his face they did makeup but he was physically like a huge guy. Yeah. So if you wanted a good mummy, why don't you cast that guy? But that that's what I'm saying. I don't if know he's if he's still, still yeah. I don't know if he's still around. Or but just like another big guy. Like, like a huge person. I and then you wrap them up. Like, I personally think that like Like you mean Tom Cruise as in the mummy or the lead in the mummy that finds the two men is the story's about him being cursed or whatever. Like I think what's his role in it? Uh I read this. From what I read, it was to play the mummy. The monster. Because, in my opinion, that's kind of a weird cast call, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. One of those type of things. I think he's playing the lead in the mummy. Yeah, see, there you go. Like the main archaeologist person, yeah, who finds the most. I think that's still a weird thing because, like, he has, yeah, he, he's just, filming. Why don't you just call him Brendan Fraser? <laughs> he's so good at it. Why? He did like three movies, I think, and they were all, I think they all did pretty good. The last one didn't, I didn't know that. The last one didn't, the first one kind of did, but I mean, like, I find it weird because, like. He, he not only has to film Mission Impossible, the next Mission Impossible, and then he's got the film. next. Which one's that? Wasn't the last? It's Mission Impossible Six. Oh, nice. And then he's also got uh, Jack Reacher. Here, 
Is that a sequel coming yeah, out? Yes, so there's a sequel coming oh, nice. out. He's doing a sequel for Jack Reacher. And I like that one. Is that the one where... With the girl? Yeah. I think I know that one. I like how it was just like one word to describe the whole movie. <laughs> was it with the girl? Yes. The, it's like the girl who works for the cops. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. And then like... Uh, she has to escape with him to protect her because the cops are like evil or I don't know or, or, or like Jack Reacher is not who he say he is or something like that yeah I, I, I know I know which one you mean now. yeah so he's doing that one too so I find it weird when is he gonna have the, the, the time to just be like hey guys I'm gonna be the archaeologist I'm gonna go mummies and then he's gonna you know I don't know I find it weird you know what I thought was a really good movie what? did you ever see that one with Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt the one that started Emily Blunt's career, I think. Which one? Uh, Edge of Tomorrow, where they're in super battle mechs and they're fighting aliens. Oh, yeah, that one. Did you ever see that one? I thought that was a great one. I only found it funny how they kept changing the name. What? Yeah, they changed it twice, I think, uh, right? No, I Is think that was, the thing? Yeah, they, I think they changed it three times. It was called Live, Die, Repeat. Yeah. And then Edge of Tomorrow. No, no, I, it was Edge of Tomorrow first, and then they changed it to Live Therapy. And then there was another one. They named it something else. Oh, God, no, Thor. He's swinging at me. Well, I don't know. He's but, on me. I don't know, but yeah, there was another one. Oh, and there you go. It was pretty... Like, I was laughing at the fact that they kept changing the name, like, even during mid-production of the movie. They were like, no, 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 no. It's not Edge of Tomorrow, guys. It's Live that Repeat. <laughs> no, 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 guys. I, th nice. I think that's dumb. Yeah. Live I, that repeat. Oh no! Like, they should have just caught it Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah, I was fine with Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah, it's it's good. And then Live Die Repeat. You just gave out the whole freaking. That's the plot. Of, like that's you the just plot. gave away the plot of the movie. What are you gonna do in this movie? Oh, you're gonna live. Oh, you're gonna die. And you're gonna repeat. That was good. I like, I like how he portrayed the war torn hero that's been in every war in one day because he basically goes through the same war over but over. it's it's crazy every time like it's the same thing every time but he has to learn it yeah he's like, learn like in one part he uh in the beginning he barely drops in this is the first day i think that he dies uh he doesn't even get the power he all right i'm gonna describe the scene he he drops in for the first time yeah uh there's this his one teammate the plane's crashing and lands on the guy and he's like holy fuck and then the sand gets on him he's like oh shit yeah so he keeps walking around like scared like oh fuck what do i do i'm in this huge ass mech i don't even know how to use it yeah so he sees another plane crashing down so then he starts running he lands in this trench all right so and in the trench i think this is where he finds his team where he dropped in from the drop shit because it's yeah. like they're like odsts you drop down but not from from yeah. in space like uh like an air like a pelican airplane yeah uh so that happens they drop in he finds his squad again and then they're just there in the thing and then he they're another kill that's my third kill of this game um they find the guys and he there's one buried in their foxhole but yeah. they don't see it he's the only one that sees it uh, they don't listen to him either because he's like crazy but or not crazy he's like he, he can't fight for shit he figures out how to uh he gets the safety off his gun and he shoots the shit out of it like he kills it and he saves his team well not really the guy like rex he he does like super moves these things are crazy fast yeah they have like twitch movements and they're just crazy fast so he kills like almost every person in there except for him because he's able to kill him and then a bigger one comes out. It's like twice as big. It's meaner looking. It's blue instead yeah. of orange. And his dead friend, he he always straps a claymore and to his chest for every fight. Because if he dies, if someone passes over, it'll kill more people. So he grabs that. He kills the blue thing. And it explodes. And the blood is like volcano blood. So it like melts his face off, and that shit's insane. It looks <laughs> nasty as hell. <laughs> and then he wakes up again. He's like, ah, oh, my face. But he's it's the same scene from earlier in the movie, where he's like, get on your feet, maggot. Yeah. And then he goes back to see Bill's back, Bill Paxton. The whole thing happens again, and then he dies again. And, and he does it again. Yeah, he does again. Like he does it different this time. 
like the second time around because I know the guy who gets crushed by the thing he's able he pushes him out but then the thing lands on him and then he wakes up again like ah <laughs> and then he does it again he saves the guy again but then yeah. he lives the sec the third time and that's the whole movie he just like he's he's in the same beach learning about war and how to live and where everything's gonna come out. I think it like the the premise of the movie reminds me of like an old arcade game, mm. like where there's no checkpoints, there's no like, I don't oh know, yeah. yeah, there's no checkpoints, there's no do overs. You die, you die, and you just wasted your fucking money. And like <laughs> it reminds me a lot of that because it's just like you play the first time, you get your ass kicked, and then the second time you're like, now I know what to do. You play it again, you go yeah, farther. Yeah, like, oh, now I know where this guy's coming from. Yeah. Let me f- st- rethink yeah, yeah. my strategy. Like, I like it reminded me of, like, a game that came out around that time called Vogar the Viking. It was, like, an 8-bit... Oh, I know the one. I know the it one. It was an 8-bit <laughs> game. It was, like... It was real, real you die real. once, you start from the beginning. You start the all the way from the beginning. And, you're, and, like, just thinking about that... And you get one hit only, and you're dead. But the thing is, you get these power-ups, like, oh, you get a shield, you yeah. get two hits, you get a... Chest plate, you get three hits. You get a helmet, you get four hits. Yeah. You get a better sword, which has longer reach, so they won't hit you as much. You get a flaming sword, there's more damage. That's uh I saw a rage put on them. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't play the game myself. I played it, and like it really does piss you off because like <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You played it. Yeah. I played How was it? Is it? it a good game? It's a good game, but like I said, you have to learn from your mistakes because you can't do the same shit twice. Because you'll die by the same person, and you'll die in these stupid ways, and you'll be like, what the fuck? And then you eventually have to calm down and be like, okay, I have to go here, avoid this person, do this and do that. And like you learn from your mistakes and then you eventually get better. Like I haven't even passed the second world. I always die at the second world. I can never beat it. And then you have to restart from the first one or you start at the beginning you start, of the second one? You start restarting the second one. Uh, Once you put, go that, that's good. Yeah. I li- you pass the first level. Calm that's down, dude. It's like the most impossible game. <laughs> Explain like that. Like that will take your whole day just to get up like the end or maybe a whole week because I think there's like 12 worlds like Mario All right. but yeah like it's pretty cool like that I don't know but what were we talking about Tom Cruise and Angelina Jolie being monsters yeah uh, we mentioned Tom Cruise I was like hey have you seen that one movie where Tom Cruise is in it oh yes so, did you see the movie yeah I've seen it we should watch it again I like it I wanna buy it I have this list of my favorite all-time movies ever. Yeah. And I want to buy them, like, a hardcore Blu-ray collector's edition. Just to have them. Like, oh, I love this movie so much. I, I would Blu-ray. give more money yeah. to have more of it. You know? I get you. It's such a good movie, The Edge of Tomorrow. I have this other one. Like, it's a bunch of... It's a random list. Like, I want Avatar. The James Cameron one. Oh, they're going to say uh, Avatar, the one with the airbender. No, I was like, you want that. the airbender... No, fuck that. All right, don't don't talk about that one. Fuck Everybody. that. I saw, I saw the anime with my brother. That was like Saturday morning cartoons. Like every week, like oh shit, what's gonna happen next? Did he find a guy or whatever? They fucking ruin it in one movie. Come on, Shyamalan. You, M. You're Night Shyamalan. M. Night Shyamalan. 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 Anyway. <laughs> So I'm going to. Uh, oh. Oh wait, now you, you go. I was gonna say I have the I want the Avatar. Uh, Ratatouille, the Pixar one about the cooking Paris mice mm-hmm. guy. I want that one. Cause that's like that's that's probably gonna have to be my favorite movie. Ratatouille, I like that one. Is it just cause it teaches you anyone can cook? Oh yeah, it has a good message. Uh, it's good animation. Patton Oswalt, he's, I like him. He's like one of my favorite actors. As the rat. Uh, yeah, it's a good movie. I like it. And uh, I guess I like it more than most people because unlike other people, I actually want to cook. Like, so you can, for, you can I want to it more. Yeah, it's more relatable to me. And I just like it. It's good movie, good art style. I like how it's in Paris because they have the funny accents. Yeah. Uh, what I was gonna say, going to our last topic is Fantastic Four news. No I'm fucking duck. And yeah, obviously I'm pretty sure you might have seen this coming. Wait, I, everyone did you seen say this Fantastic coming. Four? Yeah, Fantastic Four. Oh. 
Guess what, guys? Fantastic Four 2 got cancelled. 2? Yeah. They were gonna make a sequel to that shit. Well, what's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know why everyone's so mad. I liked them. It was kind of dumb, though. But it, I liked it. It was a, it did really badly. I liked it. They had no promotion to it until like a fucking month before the movie came out. <laughs> yeah. Which is the worst thing you can do. They hyped it up to make it... Like, don't but get me wrong. I li like... The, the, I think most people didn't like it because there's a black guy. For the I don't flaming know. guy. But that, that really wasn't what pissed me off. It was just how bad it was. I didn't like anything about it. I like the idea of them going to another dimension, but I just didn't like anything else besides that. Like I thought it was freaking stupid. Like how You're freaking dumb dumb I I couldn't I just I just don't support it at all. Like I honestly prefer you, you didn't like any of it? I didn't like any of it. I couldn't stand like I watched it to that website that uh Raul showed us. <laughs> the Rainer Tamayo. Yeah. And uh I just could like, after watching it, I was just there like, like the, traumatized. What the fuck is this? Like I was just like, what did I watch? Like it, I don't know. Personally, to me, I kind of preferred the other ones. Just be well, the what, first the one with Chris Evans. Yeah, what, well, before yeah. I like how he get, he's the only guy I think that has ever played two different superheroes. Has anyone else done that? Uh, he's the Human Torch, and. Ah, uh, Captain America. That's pretty funny. And a super villain. Not super villain, but a bad guy. Antagonist. No. He's uh one of the evil exes in Scott Pilgrim versus the World. Oh. That's also another movie I want. That, well, that's not a Marvel movie, man. I thought you meant like. Um, since you were talking about Marvel movies, that was just. Oh, like, he's a bad guy, dude. Come on. It was a fucking stupid. Ooh, oh, snipe. I know you saw that snipe. But, uh. I don't know. Yeah, I think you're right about the whole Chris Evans thing. But I don't know. I just couldn't stand this. I like the old versions. Not the second movie. The, just the first one. I liked it just because it was... Oh my god, if he lives... Oh, you're dead! <laughs> it just reminded me so much of the comics. Where they got hit by cosmic radioactive waves from outer space. And they became these human, superhuman things. I like how they did that too. They were in the escape pod trying to leave... But then the one guy's open, and a bunch of space rocks came flying in, so that's why he's the thing. And the other guy's thing caught on fire as they were teleporting back, and that's why he is the Human Torch now. How the fuck did we lose? Oh, they surrendered. I was... God damn it. I was carrying that team right there. Like, that's not... Fuck you, game. He's just a good game. Fuck that. Anyways, we could've won. But yeah, I, I just couldn't stand <sighs> to watch that movie. I Maybe you guys like fucking Fantastic Four but I'm glad they cancelled it cause first it was hor it did horrible it didn't even make the money it wasted it couldn't even make it up so they had a they had a debt for that shit yeah like nothing was good about it I personally think nothing was good about it they made it sound like it was going to be good and I believed it was going to be good watched it it was shit and that's the end of the story okay so you didn't like it I didn't like it I, I like I thought it was pretty good Moving now, we're here to the end of our podcast where we talk about movies and games that are coming up oh, in the future. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Days and weeks. I have uh, movie news. Oh, you do? I was on the Imager, 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 and it turns out Jim Carrey is doing a pretty good movie, uh, a thriller. Has he ever done one of those? A thriller? Yeah. Jim Carrey. The funny guy. A thriller. Yeah. Is it a funny thriller or just no. a thriller? <laughs> First shots of Jim Carrey thriller, true crimes, and then he looks he looks good too. I like how he's doing more serious work. I don't know if you'll be able to put some of these pictures, but it's him in a beard, and there's shots of the movie. It looks dark, like the palette is dark. You can tell it's gonna be an ominous movie. Jim Carrey looks there's like, like dark blue. There's dark greens. He looks he's. He's old. Jim He's really old now. He has a scruffy gray beard. He has bald, kind of bald spots on his head. Jim Carrey, right now, he reminds me of that creepy guy who waits outside your house to tell you the world's gonna end. <laughs> the right. world's coming to an end. In these pictures? Yeah, like he has that face. And then yeah, like, but the, it looks good. Like these I'm not are saying shot. it's not bad. I'm they're saying it's like, good. They're just. They're just like still pictures of the movie. He's like in a library looking for something. That's really cool though. He looks like he could be a cop. He's interrogating this one guy in this one. He's like a priest. He's walking through a door really in this one. 
What? Is that a turtleneck he's wearing? Yeah. Jim Carrey. They're in hallways. He's sitting on a couch. They're looking Dude, out every windows. shot you have of Jim Carrey is so contemplative. He's just like, what should I eat for dinner? <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, that's it, a movie coming out, I guess, called True Crimes, starring Jim Carrey. It's a thriller. That sounds has really he, good. Has he ever been in the thriller? He's before? never been. He's always in. He's dumb, always he's, the he's, funny he, oh, guy. He's the funny guy. I want to see this. I like. I like it. how he's changing his style though. Like it happened with Jonah Hill, kind of, where he was like, I don't want to be the funny fat guy in comedy movies anymore. I want to do something serious. And then they cast him for Wolf of Wall Street, where, he's, where he's the funny white guy. <laughs> But yeah, I think uh, John Hill really quick. I find it weird that you lost the weight, then you gained the weight back. Nah, it was Just for saying. the movie. He had to be the fact. <laughs> I like I, those are a couple of movies I want to buy too. I have like this list of movies. I want um, get them to the Greek and accepted. Have you seen or heard of the movie Accepted? You saw it? Did you like it? With Justin Long, <laughs> I love it. So funny. All right. Oh so coming out next Friday on December fourth is the horror movie Krampus. Oh yeah, that one looks good. There's Adam Scott's in there. We also have the Lady in the Van biography. I just said what it was. It's a biography. We have Christmas Eve, which is a holiday movie. And wait, my... wait. What'd you say before that one? Lady in the Van by bi... Lady in the Van. Mm. No. Anyway, it's sad. It, it's a. Uh, it's a biography coming out nationwide. Oh. We also got Christmas Eve, which is a holiday. Select theaters. We Christmas also, Eve? Christmas Eve. You mean the night before? No, just Christmas Eve. Oh. We also have the MI... Night, the night before, the sure. We be. have MI5, which is coming out in certain theaters. Everything everything will be fine, which is a drama. It's not a lot, I kind of hate this. Not a lot of, these movies sound really cool, but they're coming out limited. We also have Macbeth, which is coming Macbeth? out. Macbeth? Macbeth. Based on the book? Yeah. Nice. I'll watch that. It's, but it's on select theaters. Chi oh. Rock, The Letters, The Wannabe, Life, The World of Kanko. I've never heard of any of these. Stinks. <laughs> yeah, because most of these are like kind of indie down films. Oh, these are the ones that are coming in select theaters. Yeah. Oh, the top ones were just The Lady in the Van and Krampus. Krampus. We also have Hitchcock and Truffitt and Imba Mean Sings. So those are your movies. I'm pretty sure half of you don't even know the half of those movies, and I'm cool with that. Going to our games, we have The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing coming out on December 1st on the Xbox One. Rainbow Six Siege coming out on December 1st as well on all platforms, same as Just Cause 3. And Xenoblade Chronicles coming out on December 4th on the Ooh, Wii U. Xenoblade. I, I might want to get that one. I'm not sure. Xenoblade? Yeah, it's like an open world. I love open world games. But Xenoblade, it's uh, it's kind of mixed with Final Fantasy. Yeah. And I don't know. It's a cool thing. I, I, I like I like the games. Like, I don't know why, but I just love it. When you hit something, and then you see the number pop off. <laughs> like, like, that's how much damage it did. I like those games. That's like a Borderlands game. Yeah. That's Xenoblade games. That's, uh, what's a dead item? Hey, you just like, you just like it? Like, it's just yeah, something you it, like? Yeah, it's my thing. Like, oh, look, the number. That's how much damage it did. Yeah. <laughs> I shoot him again. I'm, I'm gonna hit him. Maybe do more. Is that why you wanted to get Fallout 4? To see all that damage? It, that's in Fallout 4? No, but it just shows you the damage. I think it has damage. Well, it shows you how much it's, damage it's like you damage you can do. It's like an option that you can have the numbers pop out with every hit. I don't think so. I think it's just like you can shoot people but like as like if you slow down time and shoot at a specific spot you can see how much damage you'll do to them. Oh, so like if you wanna the shoot the body you'd be like, No, oh, that's, that's 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 how much percentage that you'll hit that shot. Oh okay. That's not damage. I am pretty sure like you have not if you're kinda of far, you have like forty five to get a headshot, but you have sixty to get a chest in the torso area. And then you have like twenty five to get his left arm or something. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, um, that's that's vast. Okay. Are you not a fan of Fallout? I played Fallout. No, I'm not into it. That hardcore. But Fallout 4 does like really pique my curiosity. Yeah. I like it because... Uh, uh, unlike the other Fallout games, this one has color in it. <laughs> Every other game I know is super gritty and dark. And this is going to be interesting because there's actually color, color in this one. And the contrast. With yeah, the like it, this one looks like there's at least... 
ten times more color than all the other games combined. Like you would have nighttime stuff, you could see the blackness. Like there would be rain, you could see the rain coming down. You'll have like explosions, you'll see the bright yellows and orange. Unlike the other ones where it's like just all black and dark and gray and green. Cause I think Christian Bell would love Fallout 3. And like, what is it all? Yeah. Anyway, so we're coming to the end, as always. Before we end, we'll end with one more discussion. What is your favorite game that came out this year? Or what major problems have you had with a game this year? My major problem is I don't have an Xbox One. <laughs> so I wasn't able to enjoy any of the new games. I was like, fuck this game. Fuck this game. Fuck, fuck. me. I'm back in the 360 era. <laughs> For me, uh... I'd have to say I really liked Titanfall because with my school, college, what's it, uh, scholarship refund, I had like a thousand dollars, but fuck me, I had to buy college books. So I ended up with like four or three hundred dollars. But with that, I bought a couple things. One of them was Titanfall and I had fun playing that game. Like, and that, that one came out this year, right? Yeah. No, last year. Oh yeah, I had that. Yeah. Well, what was the game that came out? Did Dragon Age come out? Yeah, came I, out this year. I played that for like twenty minutes. <laughs> really? Yeah. And I I got it because I was in the impression I would fight dragons, and I think you do in that game. Yeah, but, but, but later. Later on. Yeah, but I liked it because it's like an RTS kind of where you can zoom out, you can tell your units attack this group while you two heal this one guy. And I'll take care of this big guy because yeah. I'm like the tank heavy hitter with more health. And you do that and they do it. And then you go back to real time and you can control you. You're fighting that big dude while the other guys are doing what you said. Also, when you hit, the numbers pop out and you know how much damage. <laughs> <laughs> but I only played that in like a single sitting of one. Because I heard with all these new games I bought. Um, oh, I also bought the crew. That was pretty good. I like the crew. I could never get into racing games. But I also played that for like an hour also. <laughs> I just did the intro. Because um, I heard if you give the game and you give it back to them and you give like $10, then you can get the Xbox One edition yeah. of the same game. Like, I'm pretty sure the crew, Titanfall, and Dragon's Age are all on the Xbox One, right? Titanfall, so, yes. Dragon Age, yes. There's, but there's a, limit, there's a limit of time to it, too. Oh shit! Really? Yeah, cause my friend uh, Danny tried doing that with um. Oh shit! I'm peeing through my nose. But hey, I'll fix that later. what about Danny? Do you think he'd be interested in doing a podcast with us? Uh, prop. You mean uh, Mendoza? Right? Yeah. Yeah, I know Danny. I and know. also Cario. Nah, he, Cario wouldn't. Nah, he he's crazy. <laughs> no, not he's crazy. He's just shy. Oh. He can he can talk and he can say random shit when we're all friends. But the minute there's a camera or a mic, he just like. Oh really? Yeah, he stops. He's he's like, he's like camera shy. He's just shy of, <laughs> yeah, I guess camera shy or microphone shy. I've never noticed that with him before. Yeah, like if you put a camera in front of him, and you're not a friend, like you don't know him. Like if you don't know him, and especially like this, like this where it's out in the world, he'll be like, he yeah. won't he won't be saying his crazy things. He'll just be like, yeah, I like it. I like it. I'm good. I like it. <laughs> I think my major problem this Oh fuck. Now I hope he doesn't watch this podcast and be like, oh man, nah. I don't do that. Uh <laughs> <laughs> sorry Danny if, if you listen nah, to it. He's cool, that's why I think um, we should have him on the show and Danny will have our double D special with Danny and Danny. <laughs> you mean triple D. No, it's Oh and David. No but You're Danny's you, Whatever our triple D special <laughs> <laughs> nah. But yeah, um I think my major problem this this year with games was mostly uh, like technical issues, like where shit doesn't work. Like glitches and not glitches, not like not like stuff. Glitches and bugs I can handle. It's when the game's just fucking broken. Like I played Battlefront, I bought it, and I'm not saying it's bad. I love Which Battlefront. one is the Assassin's Creed where they released it, and then a week later they released a 40 gigabyte patch, which is basically the game working? I don't, I, I, I don't know if it's unity. I'm pretty sure that happened. That is hilarious. <laughs> like, why would they not spend the extra month 
just working on it, yeah. fixing it instead of I never waiting a week to release the full game. I never working. understood that. Like companies just want to rush out the product so they can get the money. They when should. they when they, they should wait and hold out and work on it so they gain even more money when the game actually freaking works. Yeah. But uh, like the bugs, I think it's really bad bugs that pissed me off. Like yesterday, I was playing Battlefront. I love Battlefront. Yeah, I hate those bad bugs. They're like giant spiders. <laughs> I hate. I played bugs. a game with a guy called Hubby Hulk <laughs> against a guy named Hubby Hulk. He went a hundred and four to seven in thirty goddamn minutes. Damn. And you want to know something? Mm. He was. Either he was a hacker or his game was broken or I don't know what the hell was going on. I'm pretty sure he was a hacker. You can shoot missiles at him. You can be Luke Skywalker and choke the shit out of him. Luke Skywalker choke? I mean... You mean Darth Vader? Darth Vader, whatever. Is that an instant kill move? Yeah. Oh, that's good. You can do whatever. You could fucking shoot him with a walker. The bitch wouldn't die. <laughs> he threw a lightsaber at him. Like, yeah, we did. They threw a lightsaber. And he killed Darth Vader like it was nothing. <laughs> And we got super pissed off because he would just wait in the middle of the corridor where basically everyone meets up to, like, push up. Yeah. He was just mowing down everyone, dude. <laughs> he was, like, mowing down everyone. And everyone shoots at him and melees him. And he's just there, like, what's up? And he just fucking Oh, he you. let you guys? You're just standing there taking it off? He let you guys he hit let, him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he let us hit him. That's like, awesome. at first, he'd shoot back. And then I, re- I think he either realized he has his power... Or he knew, and he was like, I'll let you guys try to hit me. <laughs> and fuck around with us. We nice. shot everything at him, dude. And he was just there staring around, just oh, teabagging. <laughs> and then he started shooting everyone. And it was just like, what the hell is this? Man, dude, I really hope that was a one-game type of deal. Like, this one game, uh, like, it was a bug that he couldn't be killed. Like, they probably... Sh- the What I think happened was the game mistaked him for an inanimate object. Like, there's this one medical droid or something in the snow level. Or he's just, like, standing there. He's not, he's nothing. He's, like, a still object. Yeah. Just standing there. And I think it might have confused him with that. No, but this one was the desert. No, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, oh, I get you. They, they might have confused him. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, this good. Uh, let, let me load the map up. Uh, there's some sand here. There's the, a mountain over there. Oh, look at that guy. Is that a guy? No, nah, he's a rock. I'm a, there's a rock there. There's another pile of rock. I think they confused him with a rock, so you can't kill a rock, so he probably just, like... But no, he had the appearance of the guy, but the game thought it was a rock, so yeah. they put the coding that you can't kill this rock. Like, is there destructible environments in that game? You Not really. Well, kind of. It's not, like, major skill destruction, but, like, if there's, like, a pile of rocks, you can shoot it, and, like, the rocks will open and just, like, fall off. Ah. Well, it was probably like that, but I... So you were able to kill him though seven times you said. A hundred. He killed. All, he killed the whole squad. He basically got a hundred seven kills and seven deaths. So that means before up to seven, maybe at his eighth, at his eighth. Oh line, yeah, that's when he became the rock or whatever. Yeah. So I don't think he became the rock. Maybe he had. Oh, I don't know. But whatever the hell. <laughs> I like happened. the idea of picking up the hero power up and the rock is there, <laughs> like dun, the wrestler. That's John Cena. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> you fucking dumbass. Anyways. The Rock is, can you smell? That's The Rock. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, another thing that kind of made me sad was Halo mm. and its sales. It's, it apparently sold half of what every other Halo has sold. Oh. So, that's really sad to hear. And, in my opinion, I just don't understand what, how... Other games like Battlefield and Call of Duty who do the same crap except change like a couple weapon, like add new weapons here with the same fucking mechanics Mm. or maybe add things here and they're able to like, I don't know. That's just me. I just never, like I'm not saying I'm a Halo fanboy. I'm just saying that I'm just never able to understand because I can play Call of Duty and I get bored of it because the lag, people... Like, just camping in corners, being asses. Or Call of Duty? Yeah. Okay. I just can't stand it. Like, I don't, like maybe after four matches, I'll be like, I can't. I'm fucking done. Halo, on the other hand, I can keep playing over and over and over. Because if you camp, you can get the bitch who's camping. You can't... Uh, there's no lag because it's on dedicated servers. So if it's... If anyone's lagging, it's your own goddamn internet. Which happens to me. 
Yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah. But besides that... Oh, going back, speaking of Star Wars, I heard something today that explains why they're all terrible shots. That um, there was this one part in one movie where I think the original trilogy where Luke is asking Obi-Wan, like, why would sand people shoot this thing? And then Obi-Wan says, it can't be sand people. These shots are too accurate. It must have been stormtroopers. Yeah. So then I was like, how the fuck <laughs> did they do that? But then, uh, I was seeing a video where they explain it, that there was... Is it under? Pr- is it because of pressure? No, no, no. no? There is, uh, there's two things, three, that there is on the, the movie. Yeah. There's a movie where they go to where they produce the clones. Yeah, that's part two. Where is that? Is the water planet? Yeah, it's water. What's it called, though? Uh, Whatever. The, you know what I mean. Yeah. Where the tall alien... Camino. White. There you go. Yeah, Camino. that place. There's a manifest there where... I think it's even in the movie dialogue. I don't know. Someone says, Oh, we got a batch of bad whatever in stock. Because I think it's blurred out. But in, later on, it's revealed that their, their blasters had all been made with messed up sights and messed up barrels. So basically... It will never shoot straight, ever. And that batch ends up happening... Because they threw it out, right? Yeah. They have the box of blasters. They just have... Like, it's a huge shipment. Yeah. And they move it in the back room. But then, in the later original trilogy, how they're, the both sides are running out of resources, they find... Hey, guys, look. I found all these blasters. Let's use them. So that's why... They have... They're shooting their, their, their guns... They never shoot straight because they can't. The blasters are messed up. And I thought, damn, that's fucking badass. I can't believe they put it in there. Like, yeah, how was it able... If they're bad shots, or the gun's bad shot. If the gun is a bad shot. No, it, the gun is a bad gun. That's what I mean. Like, it's just bad. Yeah, like, I mean, but that's part one. Part two is their helmets. If you line it up with the human head, uh, every time you move, it, like, moves up and down. You know how helmets are? Uh, the eye sights get, get fucked up. No, yeah, they're messed up. They're not centered with the eyes at all. They're like, the, you can see out, but it's like up to your eyebrow level or up to the like the cheeks. So the eyes are never alive. You, you can never see through the holes unless you like fix it. So I think that's part two because the helmets are wrong and the blasters are bad. So that's, I thought it was just because of pressure. I thought it was just because like. They're like what oh, I thought. Yeah. Like that, they, that, they, that's they shoot. True. Yeah. Like they're shooting and they're taking fire and the goddamn helmets like <laughs> like moving around like a bobblehead. They're just they're, like they're they're trying to shoot. Out. Yeah, they're yeah. trying to shoot straight. But that's fine. So that's crazy. <laughs> we're at the end of the podcast. Like I said, about a, about ten minutes ago. About a week ago. About a week ago. So we're gonna end it here with your host Justin Lopez and David Rodriguez. Yo. Oh. And we will see you guys next time. As a sign